Hey everybody, Plasma1945 with you, going to do a quick video here. What I've got is I've got a J11 that's going to pretend to be an Su-35. The uh, Russian Ministry of Defense has put out a video of employment of an Su-35 over the Ukrainian conflict area and launching an R-77 missile. We can read all that information from the HUD data that was provided. And what I've done here is I've tried to simulate it as close as possible. The weapon loadout on the aircraft is similar to what we had in the footage. Uh, I could not put a KH-31 missile on a J-11, so I've attached a couple of jamming pods, R-73s on the outer board pylons, then one inboard we've got the um, unguided rockets, and then we've got four R-77s. I attempted to get the aircraft into the flight profile and characteristics that is shown on the HUD video from the Russian Ministry of Defense, and that is a launch at 0.95 Mach, uh, indicated speed of 1050 kilometers an hour and altitude of 12690. All right, first things first. I have no idea what the target aircraft was that was locked, so in this case, I simulated an Su-27. You can grab the mission file in the description. Oh, and leave a comment with your results um, and modify the mission file to be an aircraft of your choice for the hostile. So in this case, I just put up an SU-27 with whatever default skin that I had. And it may have been a random skin because that's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, it was from one of the competition squads. Sorry, guys. Nothing meant. It was just the first one in the list. I didn't catch it until I was recording this. Anyhow, radar lock. Unlike the Russian SU-35, I only achieved radar lock at 79 kilometers, whereas at this range, the Russian aircraft had already launched its missile. So I've gone into weapon override permission, picking up my nose a little bit here, dropping speed and gaining altitude and launching the R-77 just slightly below the parameters of the actual Ministry of Defense launch. So at altitude of 12 versus... 1260 and 1030 versus 1050. Could this be the difference that the first one doesn't make it? Possibly, but let's not risk it. Let's uh, go into permission override, proper launch authorization, which is right here. And let's take a look at our speed here. 1060, just like in the um, Ministry of Defense video, 12600 versus 12690. So very close, but we did get launch authorization here at a distance of 51 kilometers instead of 80 kilometers that the um, Russian SC-35 had. Second R-77 is out, and this one is in a much better shape. The first R-77 flew about uh, 20 feet underneath the hostile. Now the hostile is an AI pilot, which is pretty dumb, so a real pilot would make a bigger difference here. But we, know, we don't know the results of the actual launch that we've seen from the Ministry of Defense video. Now, in this case, the second R-77 launched within authorization parameters at the same altitude as in the Ministry of Defense video, gets to its target and gets a splash. So there's the hit and there's the splash. Hostile SU-27 is down. All right, everybody. So that proved that our aircraft and our simulation is not as bad. And the R-77 doesn't quite suck so much. That's a 25 mile splash with head on with an AI. So drop your comments below. Make sure you like and share this video and let me know how the results work out for you because you can grab the mission file that's attached below this video and give it a try yourself. Remember everybody, it's all about staying safe, flying safe, and uh, hoping that all this war stuff is going to be over soon so we can get back to just having fun and flying our simulated battles. Take care everybody, Plasma1945, radar off, signing off.